Right guys, this is how I basically keep my cameras clean. Um, you might know that I use and abuse them quite a lot and they get coated in water, mud, salt, sand, whatever. Um, and uh, just keep them clean and working you know, as well as they can uh, once they've been abused in, you know, uh, for a day or whatever out in the elements or uh, dropped in sand or gravel or whatever and they've been, you know, they come back and they're covered in grit and um, and things like that it's it's obviously important to get them clean again so i generally use actually a couple of dental products one is the little uh, stick here it's sort of like a dental floss thing but it's got a little brush on it now, it's actually quite handy to get into the small places um an old electric toothbrush because what happens is once you use them this the bristles go softer so once it's clean and everything it's fine um obviously a lens cloth Microfiber cloth, uh, some blue roll, and uh, I actually use a little bit of Rain-X, which is a, a water plant, but it also, also um, helps keep your front elements clean, not on the actual lens itself, but a, a UV filter, especially on the RX-10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I generally do when I clean. Don't drop in too much stuff. So with the RX10 Mark IV, because obviously it's an all-in-one, um, we'll start with that first. And also we've got a blower, obviously. Most common used piece of uh, equipment. Uh, turn it on, extend the barrel to its full 600, and then turn it upside down, pop the battery out. And that now is powered down, but is it full extension, which means I can then clean that barrel. Um, and also, get inside around this bit here um, and make sure it's clean so basically I normally just give it a quick blow make sure any of the major stuff has come off any sand or grit or anything like that there's normally a, a few bits that stick um, to the camera Especially behind that screen. Like that, I mean. Normally I'll take the, uh, the hot shoe mount off as well, but um, it's not 100% necessary, depending on what um, you're kind of doing. So, let's clean up a little bit. Um, yeah, so first of all, I'm going to get the brush and uh, just go in the nooks and crannies a little bit like that. And then give it a blow. We're going to wipe over it later anyway. Um, just gently, nothing too mad. Um, and in the grooves, it works really well on the grooves of the uh, the lens control. Get some little crap in there. Get it stuck in. Um, and then obviously give that a blow again. Yeah, so just go, obviously staying away from too many areas, but quite a bit of crap. I mean, I, I really do abuse these, you know. <laughs> um, right, so that's that bit done. So that's a pretty basic clean, really. Um, I don't use anything on the lens itself, apart from just a warm breath. So I normally just go, just to mist it over. And then just give it a wipe over. That's it, lovely and clean. That's all you need to do with that lens. When you come to filters and things like that, I do something slightly different to it using uh, Rain-X. Um, right, I've got the little thing now, which gently, not going to go deep in there because there is seals and things, but it just loosens up anything that might be stuck in there, which just give us a bit of a blow out as well, around the lens. Um, and anything else that it may need to get into, into little areas that you can't get the other brush very easily. Um, and then that's pretty much, pretty much it really. I'll give the dials a quick twiddle. Um, and one of the dials there, you 
this one here, you can't get anything in there. So it's just a case of taking that brush because it bends nicely. You can actually go around and they're so small, the bristle, if you can focus on it, it actually bends like that. And these little bristles here are really soft. Um, it's obviously designed to go between your teeth and just push any little bits of food out, but it works really, really well. Uh, the other, so let's blow that quickly. Not sure we've got any little bits of crap out. The other thing here as well is your the screens. I literally just blow on them like a little huff, warm air, and give them a little little clean. Um, they don't really need unless they're really horrible. It's not too bad at all, um, and they're clean. That's the basic sort of dry, dry clean really. I mean, looking in, in your lens cowl as well, I normally give that a good clean in a minute. Um, but right, so what we're gonna do now is get an armor all dashboard thing. So I do for plastics and things like that as well. Pull one out and literally fold it into sort of that shape and just give it Gentle, clean the lens on your bits like that. Maybe all this does is just gets rid of any grease, salt build up, things like that. I'll go around the buttons, over the top, over the grip. Just, I mean, it doesn't matter if you go over the screen. Um, I mean, I'll pull out this screen gently and just go in behind it. You gotta remember this camera is pretty well sealed. Um, and then onto the grip as well. Give that a good clean. And this evaporates anyway. So. Give it a good old thing there. Leave it there for a bit, just to do its thing. Um, and then, uh, Basically, just get a uh, microfiber cloth um, and give it a bit of a, a buff. And that really does help keep away. You've got to remember this camera here has been, I say in the wars, it's been used and abused in all weathers, on the beach, it's got covered in sand completely. I mean, you should have seen it one day. Absolutely baked in sand, covered and covered and covered. Um, just be careful with the back of your screen. This is where you might actually have to stick in your little thing. Just get a little bit out if you can't. Get in there. Like that, pull that back down. Get everything a wipe. Helps to give the buttons a little Wipey wipey as well. And then just to give you an idea, this camera has been fully coated in sand. And unfortunately, it has got some grit stuck in with there. You've got scratches on a few places which won't come off, obviously, because they're scratches. Um so there's a couple of issues, but it's over two years old now, used and abused. Um, and then the other thing is, just give this a good old wipe out, get in the into the bits where any grip might um, basically be trapped on the back there. This just gives it a bit of protection. Let that dry a bit and then buff it off with the same cloth, giving the cloth a shake every now and again, just to get rid of any bits that might have stuck to it and then just dry it off. Simple as. Well, I do this with most of my cameras, I always have done um, for years. Never had any troubles with them. They've always stayed clean. Never had any fails with uh, seals or anything like that. Um, so that's the camera done. It's that quick. And if you do it every now and again, it stays pretty pretty sorted, you know? Um, the only thing you've got to be worried about is just a little bits around that where the, uh, this bit goes onto, sun, sunshade. Oop. There we go. Now 
that's a camera that's pretty clean. Um, here you go, and then just give it a blow off every now and again, just to make sure nothing's stuck to it, especially around the lens. And when you turn it back on, obviously it's going to retract um, once it's fully dried. Um, the other thing now is lenses. So obviously, normally you just give it a bit of a, a blow and it'll steam over, and then just give it a bit of a polish. That's what I've done with lenses for years. Um, problem is they get fingerprints on them, salt, grit, sand, um, spray from the obviously from the sea, the rain, and everything like that, and they become harder to um, dry, keep dry, and everything like that. So over the years, um, I've used on my car a rain repellent. It's Rainix. Brilliant stuff. There's other models and makes are out there. The ceramic coatings you can put on as well, but for everyday use, um, Rain-X is a really, really good way to protect the filters. I'll just put a couple of drops onto a piece of paper towel, and then on both sides of the glass, just give it a good coating. What it does is it creates a super slippery um, coating on the glass and basically it stops it um, it basically fills up the microscopic um, imperfections of the glass so water and things like that beads off um, as a coating so um, one it gives you a clearer view straight through the glass which is fine and I've never ever had any issues um, with flaring or anything like that that you would have got with just a filter on there so no issues whatsoever it doesn't cause any issues with optics anything like that at all it actually makes it clearer so um it's a brilliant thing it's about six pounds a bottle it's that available from halford sainsbury's with lots of places on the internet um very very good um they do a plastic version now as well and uh you know it just works so uh, you let that dry basically and uh Get a fresh um, cloth, there's one, um, once it's dried, and actually you're supposed to use a little bit of water, but obviously because of our breath, we can add a little bit of breath onto it, and you'll see, I don't know if you can see that, it's actually got a bit of a dried on film now, so you basically just breathe on it, make it a little bit opaque, and then basically buff it off. And then the other side as well, as you can see, it's still a bit opaque. It should be applied ideally, which I found out actually once, um, 25 degrees Celsius and above, and it really bonds to the glass then. Um, it lasts a much, much longer. There you go, so super clear um, filter. And that just goes straight back on the camera. Obviously that gives you, and it's the cool thing about it, but um, basically the water will just bead off, it, it also, um, just stays clearer for longer. You don't get any troubles with uh, salt build up so much. You can just wipe it off It'll much, much easier. Um, so basically that's just how I clean my, clean my kit. I mean, yeah, I mean, basic ones, obviously blower and a, a lens cloth. They're the two most important ones you generally use most days, but having a few other bits and pieces to help you get into the nooks and crannies and things like that to get the, the camera cleaner and, uh, you know, up to a relatively clean, grease-free, sticky, whatever, um, and dust free uh, camera again works really well. So that's it, guys. Uh, please subscribe, please click the notification bell, and I'll see you soon.